found the strength to get to the bar Crack a cold beer sitting in my car I was feeling buzzed when I walked in Sitting in the corner was a perfect ten Now I ain't one to stretch the truth But the whiskey kicked in and my mouth got loose Welcome to this week's episode Last time we said goodbye to Maine and ended it off with a meal fit for kings and queens. Thank you so much, Andy Livingston. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, a, what do you call it? A lobster cracker. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. quite rolly with all the traffic going past us and look at this looks so misty this morning and we have this big bugger coming in wonder how is he handling the lobster pot oh now the lobster pot is handling that this is big. <laughs> Yo. And then a quick stop in Gloucester before heading for Boston. So this looks like it's going to be our anchor spot for tonight because it's just way too busy inside. Apparently the people are complaining about the lobster pots but we'll have a closer look. We have anchored right in between of them before so it doesn't look that bad yeah. I need your opinion. Comment down below and don't just spell the name, spell it like you say it. So, are we now in Gloucester, man? Or are we now in... Are we now in Glo Gloucester? I don't know. Are we now in Gloucester? I cannot get the American accent right. I just cannot, sorry. We came in over there and tonight I think after Peter make our chowder we need to go in there somewhere there. A little bit more rough on this side because here is a bridge and all of these guys is getting out of here. I think that's a high one as well. Yeah, so they just create a Serious lot of wakes. <laughs> just look at that. Everyone just waiting for it to go open and it's like throttles open. Really steady. We are in Gloucester 
and I keep on saying Gloucester's because like in the real proper England but this is Gloucester and it looks like it could be a cool place there and we can't figure out what is the game fish that you catch in Maine okay we're outside of Maine but I mean we like next door we had the lines out today but there was no interest Tapex is all alone near the end of this pier. It's a very shaky pier. So, and look at that big schooner is coming in. And we are here at the Blue Collar Lobster Company. So, let's, let's go find out whether we can put Tapex the over there. This is definitely a lobster company. <laughs> To look at all of these toggles and buoys. Welcome to Boston. Sisu is here in the middle of quite, it looks like semi-industrial, but it's called the Inner Harbour of Boston. Uh, Anchorage number one. Anchorage number one. So now we're going to cross this big channel. So this barge thing has been floating around here the whole morning. Boston by day. It's an awesome picture at night when all these lights go on. Go to the barking crab. I think we will need to maybe have at least one beer here so that we and pay back the dinghy dockage fee. Mm. Yeah, we are in Boston. That's old town, downtown. There's a barking crab. <laughs> there is the pigs. And they are saying we're going to have a thunderstorm. So we should have put the pigs under the bridge. <laughs> On a hunt for some of the oldest pubs in Boston. So here goes in random order. And we also show you a bit of Boston's historic North End. Mr. Dooley's. That's this very beautiful flowers. Now we need to look for the oldest pub. So that is Union Oyster House. We will come back later. That's one of the 10 oldest pubs. And then Bell and Hand Tavern is the other one. Also one of the oldest pubs. And we're talking about old like in... Franklin, Roosevelt, or what's it, Paul Riviere. No, those guys, they frequented these pubs or this area. Imagine that. So this is Warren Tavern from 1718. Here in Boston, the oldest pub. Again, we cannot have any video in there, but um, they play copyright music. So we can only show you the outside. So we found another 1850 and it's so cute, just check inside.
Köhlen. One of the ten oldest pubs in Boston. Bell in the hand. Yes. You're gonna see it. I'm gonna do it. We have to do this. Bing! 1795. <laughs> oh, 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 looks handsome. <laughs> so we are at the Green Dragon Tavern. It's actually, yeah. And these guys are also one of the top headquarters. This was actually the headquarters of the revolution. Imagine this. So let's go in. Let's see what's going on here. Washington and Roosevelt used to hang out in these pubs. The oldest we visited dated back all the way to 1714, the Green Dragon Tavern. We walked a far way to get here. And yes, sir. <laughs> so everybody knows your name. So let's come okay. and see what this is about. Whether they know our name. <laughs> okay. So we are in some Boston gardens and so many squirrels. I know other people think I might be a nuisance but they are so cute. And this is the park. Very beautiful. So Pietro is carrying a absolutely to death. Sisu on merchandise. Sisu Merc is on the way to Sisu. Yep, basically. Oh my Galico's goodness, he has naked people. guys please don't forget to hop over to our store and get your sisu swag on